What is up everybody? My name is Imani LaRussa and today is going to be the first of many videos like this. I want to start off by saying I want this YouTube channel to be a source of information that isn't like normal YouTube videos. I don't want to create step-by-step -step tutorials because I think that there's so many amazing other YouTubers out there that are already doing that. I want to give you guys some insight on some information that I've gained over the past eight years of my career. I've gotten a degree in film and I can honestly tell you that the majority of the stuff that I've learned was from YouTube and from other artists. So I just want to be that outlet for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how I get into the creative mindset to start designing and animating. I wanted to create this tutorial because I get a lot of messages from you guys asking me how I come up with an idea or how I get out of the creative block. And these are my ways of doing that. The first step for me when getting into the creative process, whether it's for a client or for a personal project, is identifying the call to action. What is the goal of the piece? How do you want your audience to feel when they've looked at your logo or your design or your animations? Do you want your audience to be like, damn, that was super cool, was super trippy, or wow, that was super sad and really captivating? By establishing this, you could create a foundation of where you're gonna stem your ideas from because this theme, this goal, is going to lead you to more ideas and stemming out to a whole bunch of different concepts and designs. Next is creating a word tree. I don't know about you guys, but I am very hands-on. Like I like having pen and paper so that I can just throw my ideas that I have in my head onto paper. This helps me get all of my thoughts out on a visual board. And to show you this, I am going to work with a client. So I have a fake client Frank Ocean, he is my client for today. A girl can dream. And Frank Ocean has asked me to create a trippy, cool piece for his song, Self Control. If you're freelancing, odds are you're only gonna get like one or two words that really describe what they want. Sometimes you get no words, um, but expect to get very little direction from your client. Um, it is rare, it does happen. Um, but this word tree definitely helps pulling the ideas that you have from the very little words that they give you. So I have my iPad right here and I am just going to start this word tree. I'm going to start off with what he gave me, which is self-control. That's the name of the song. And he said he wanted it to be trippy. So we'll add trippy. Create little boxes for them. And then I just start stemming off from there. So when I think of self-control, I think of drug use. I think of addiction, self. And then when I think of self, I think of mind, brain, thinking, thoughts. So already we start off with two words and now we have five more. We're just gonna keep building this on. When I think of trippy, I think of psychedelic. I think of LSD um, and even though I'm thinking of words that are attached to it, I even throw like effects in there. So I think of colorama, motion trails. I think of turbulent displacement. For addiction, I think of discipline, uh, drug use. I think of weed. I think of Molly. I think of all the other drugs that are attached to that. Um, discipline, I think of willpower. Thinking, I think of self-reflection, mindset. Um, trippy, I think of vibrant colors. I think of slow motion. So now that I have all of my words, I pick the words that just really stick out to me. Let me highlight that, it's gonna bother me. <laughs> Um, so self-reflection definitely sticks out to me. I'm already getting a whole bunch of visual ideas for self-reflecting um, with just mirrors and looking at oneself. 
With these effects, I really love the vibrant colors. I love the slow motion. So now we're just seeing that with these two words, we could really come up with some crazy ideas. So when I'm creating this word tree, I always come to a halt. All the words that I could possibly think of that could stem from this theme, I have no more words. That's when I start looking through a thesaurus. I throw in the words that really stood out to me and I see what other words stem from that. And what's great about it is you start coming up with new ideas and you learn more words. So plus plus. And lastly, we want to check for some visual resources. I have broken down these words and I've already come up with so many different concepts, but say you haven't, say you're still kind of in this little rut of not being able to come up with some scenes for a project or a design. Going to websites like Giphy and Pinterest and typing in these highlighted words, it gives you a flood of different illustrations, movie scenes, pictures, just videos that people have uploaded of themselves. Like I said before, I'm a very visual learner and seeing so many different forms of art inspires me to make my own art. The same way that I gain knowledge from looking at a thesaurus and researching those words and what they mean, it's kind of like the same with looking at other people's art that kind of reflect the words that I've already looked up. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So this is Giphy. It has a whole bunch of different videos and illustrations and artists that just upload three, five seconds of their work. So I'm gonna take in some of the words that I have come up with and see what visual resources I could find. So I had self-reflection. This is sick, this picture. Also this of the wolf, that's really cool. It's like seeing another version of themselves. I mean, so already I have seen two images and I'm already inspired. And what's also cool, like Pinterest, it gives you similar examples of things that you've already liked. I use this process for every single project that I'm working on. Even if I have an idea that I've already come up with just from listening to a song or they've given me some sort of creative direction, I feel like it gives you a different perspective on things that you may not have even thought of. Also, when you're freelancing, you don't really get as many opportunities to bounce ideas off of your coworkers because most of the time you're working by yourself. And having these visual resources and these words, it helps you kind of bounce back with yourself. I think it's extremely important to constantly indulge yourself in other people's art. Just constantly surround yourself by art and these creative thoughts because it gets you in the creative mindsets, whether it's Giphy or it's Instagram or it's YouTube. I hope this helped you guys understand the process of how I get in the creative mindset and how I get out of creative blocks, just kind of extrapolating ideas from another and creating these word trees and looking at visual resources. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I try to respond to all the YouTube comments as I can, um, but thank you so much guys. I super appreciate it.